Hello everyone and welcome back to another chapter of Ruby Volume 4 Chapter 8 A much needed talk That's for sure um, So yeah, uh, if you want to see the full uncovered version of this reaction You can find my Patreon link in the description below Without any further ado, let's jump into this one Campfire Perfect for storytelling. Bandage tap. Really? No questions? Oh, there is a lot. We have questions. This is just a lot to take in. Oh, already. Okay. Sure, of course. Already said everything. So these maidens, they're powerful fighters that don't need dust to use magic. Yeah. And there are four of them? Yep. Always. Which means that whenever one of them dies, the power transfers to someone, a female, that they care about? Whoever was in their thoughts last. Important distinction. Best option, it's someone we can trust. Regardless, their souls become combined, in a way. Oh, the and same as Oscar. To to Pira. An Oscar. Like the tower fell. You're trying to turn her into one of them. The previous Fall Maiden, Amber, had been attacked. She was young and experienced. And her assailant, who we now know as Cinder, somehow managed to steal some of her power, but not all of it. We were afraid that if we didn't do something, the rest would go to her as well. So you forced it on Pyrrha. We didn't. She was given the choice. Anything. We explained the situation and gave her a choice, and she chose. You were there. You heard her. Choosing between John and... Destiny. That guy, Tyrion. Why was he after me? <sighs> well, you definitely painted a target on your back with what you did at Beacon. I told you having silver eyes is a rare trait. And the fact that you're someone that was able to use them seems to have upset some very powerful people. Not many people know about the Silver Eyes, but those that do aren't very happy that one has surfaced. That's why I've been keeping an eye on you. Wanted to make sure you were safe. All of you. Well, then why not just travel with us? It seems like that would have been way easier. He was using you as bait. Okay. I was thinking Look, of... I wouldn't put it like that. It's complicated. Come on. What is all of this? Ruby's being hunted. The schools are being attacked. All for what? What is the point of all of this? Will you just tell us what's going on? <sighs> Would you sit down? You're stressing me out, kid. <laughs> I mean... A reasonable... Not many people are super religious these days. I agree. This world's been around for a long time. Long enough that people have created dozens of gods. But if you believe Ozpin, two of them are actually real. They okay. were brothers. The older sibling, the god of light, found joy in creating forces of life. Meanwhile, the younger brother, the god of darkness spent his time creating forces of destruction. As you can imagine, they both had pretty different ideas about how things should go. The older one would spend his days creating water, plants, wildlife. But at night, his brother would wake to see all the things that the elder had made and become disgusted. To counteract his brother's creations, the god of darkness brought drought, fire, famine. All that he could do to rid Remnant of life. Life always returned. Yeah. So one night, the younger brother went and made something. Something that shared his innate desire to destroy anything and everything. Creatures of Grim. The creatures of Grim. You guessed it. The older brother had finally had enough. Knowing that their feud couldn't last like this forever. 
He proposed that they make one final creation together. Something they could both be proud of, their masterpiece. The younger brother agreed. This last great creation would be given the power to both create and destroy. Humanity? It would be given the gift of knowledge so that it could learn about itself and the world around it. And most importantly, it would be given the power to choose. To have free will to take everything it had learned and decide which path to follow. The path of light or the path of darkness. That's a cool explanation. That is how humanity came to be. I can stand what, behind that. What does that have to do with us? Well, that's the kicker. See, the four gifts to mankind, knowledge, creation, destruction, and choice, aren't just metaphorical. Each of them exists in a physical form, left behind by the gods before they abandon Remnant. And each of them is extraordinarily powerful. If someone were to collect all four, they'd be able to change the world. And that's exactly what the enemy wants. Oh! The Huntsman Academies were created to train generations of humanity's protectors. But they also serve another purpose. Guarding the relics. When Ozpin's predecessor founded the schools, he built them around the relics to act as a fortress. Four kingdoms. Not only would they be easier to defend. Four huntsman academies. Four relics. Warriors. Makes sense. That hiding the relics would keep mankind from using them against itself, and of course, keeping them out of her reach. So. That was yeah, cool. There's that. Her. You mean Salem? That's right. Not much is known about her, and quite frankly, that's not what matters. What matters right now is that she wants the relics. And if she gets them, it's not going to end well. All right. You know, you can always go in and say hi. I don't want to bother him. A father's never too busy for his daughter. <laughs> Not all of my friends would agree with you on that. Sure. <laughs> what? Where are you going? You've never been very talkative, but that boy you brought home loves to run his mouth. <laughs> I want to hear more about the adventures of Team Ruby. <laughs> Carly, is that you, dear? Uh, hey, Dad. Blake. Well, this is a pleasant surprise. I... Please, come sit. Don't worry, I've got it. Sit down, sit down. I don't want to keep you if you're... Nonsense. I've been cooped up in here all day. <laughs> You still take sugar, right? Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. No, 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 it's fine. Oh, here, take this one. No, really, it's it's no big deal. You sure? Positive. <laughs> <laughs> Old habits, I suppose. <laughs> Might want to let it cool. Right. <laughs> so, is it... Uh, Warm in Veil? Vale? Huh? It just seems Fuck. like your outfit doesn't cover very much. <laughs> it covers plenty. <laughs> I mean, a little more armor might help, don't you think? I'm fine. I don't need armor. I can look after myself. I... <sighs> I know you can. I'm sorry. He's Why? very reasonable. Mm -hmm. Why would you say that? Completely opposite Sweetheart, what's wrong? of Weiss's father. What did I say? 
how can you still love me after what I did? Play. A much needed talk. Damn, these titles are on point. Your mother and I will always love you. You were right. I shouted at you and yelled at you, but you were right. That's. I called you coward. That's majority okay. of the situations. I should have left the White Fang with you and Mom. I should have listened to you, and I'm sorry. I'm so Look sorry. Look at all the positive side. Blake, You've grown from it's this. Fine. We never held anything against you, and I never feared you would fail. The only thing I ever feared was that you would fall down the wrong path. And I am so proud to see you have it. But I did. I was... And you pulled yourself out. You came back. There aren't many who possess that kind of strength, and even fewer that have the courage to face their demons again. Vale, Mountain Glen, Beacon. You confronted the White Fang time after time. I didn't do it alone. No, you didn't. Which is why I wanted to ask you. Why did you leave Vale? Why did you leave your friends behind? Interesting question. I... Son? <clears throat> oh, whoa! This isn't the bathroom. Uh, I'll just be going. You were listening. And her family moment. <laughs> I really don't like you. I mean, I can't blame you for that now. All right. So let's say we believe all of this. Really hard. There really is this crazy evil being behind these attacks, not just some thugs trying to become powerful. Why doesn't the world know? Why isn't Atlas going after them or Mistral? And why aren't we in more of a hurry to get to Haven? Shouldn't we be getting them a message? What if they're next? The headmaster over there saw what happened to Beacon. He's not dumb. He'll be on his guard. Okay. Besides, it takes time to mobilize forces like that. Do you really think they planned out that attack on Beacon overnight? And to answer Three your question, volumes. it's the same reason we keep quiet about the Maidens. If the whole world knew about the relics, about Salem, it would be chaos. We'd have another great war on our hands, and this time, you'd have to fight. Look, I had the same questions, too. But old Ozpen always put his foot down. We can't cause a panic. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've heard that. It's engraved Salem's in you. Smart. She works from the shadows, using others to get what she wants, so that when it comes time to place the blame, we can only point at each other. She's trying to divide us, humanity. And so far, she's done a pretty damn good job. All right. So what should we do? I don't really know. <laughs> Ospen has put a lot of trust in the headmasters. Like I said, the schools are an important part of stopping Salem. Atlas is going to be on high alert after the last attack, and Vacuo is, well, Vacuo. <laughs> It'll be hard to hire thieves and scoundrels to fight against other thieves and scoundrels. A chaos. Take that. Add in the fact that Cinder and her crew claim to be from Haven. And I think it's likely the next target. Logical. So, we're on our way to the headmaster. I haven't heard from him in a while, even before the attack. I'm hoping he has the answers. <clears throat> All right. I think it's time you kids got some sleep. Uncle Crow? Yeah? This is a lot to take in. And it all sounds crazy, but I'm willing to do whatever I can to help. Because I trust you. But why couldn't you trust me? Why couldn't you just travel with us instead of all of this, this secrecy and, and... Look, this has nothing to do with trust. I... It's a long story. 
<laughs> Seriously? Now you're tired of telling us stories? A good one. But you know the crows are a sign of bad luck. Old superstition. But it's how I got my name. You see, some people can absorb electricity, and some people can burst into rose petals. And some people are just born unlucky. Okay. My semblance isn't like most. It's not exactly something I do. It's always there, whether I like it or not. I bring misfortune. <laughs> I guess you could call me a bad luck charm. <laughs> Comes in real handy when I'm fighting an enemy. But it makes it a little hard on friends and family. So like a aura effect? Well, you are just a real bundle of help, aren't you? John! Yeah. Where are you going? Taking a walk. There's nothing else you want to tell us? Raven, I assume? Not tonight. Okay. I see. Well, here you have the example. Ugh. No concept of privacy, no respect for personal space. I'm sorry, okay? Ow, I'm sorry. Ugh. Look, I promise it was important. I needed to find you to talk to you. Okay. Yet, son. What could be so important? I was talking to your mom and she said something weird about the white fang. I'm stopping you right there. But I told you, I'm not here to fight the white fang. I'm not here to fight anyone. I'm here to rest, to figure things out and to see my family. Your mom said white fang members don't wear masks in menagerie, but I saw one at the market yesterday. I even got a picture. Son. Look, I'm trying to help. I don't want your help. Come on. Okay. Well, well. I mean, a freaking ninja? Fine. <laughs> but why would Hey, wait. That was uh the White Fang is evil, I totally called it, and I'm bringing your daughter back! <laughs> that was a lucky hit, hitting her with the scroll. <sighs> we should probably get moving. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All purple? Well, that's unfortunate. Oh. That was a very sudden... Exhale. Okay, I wouldn't say that he's off. Um, God damn. Previous episode action packed. This ep I mean episode chapter. I'm keeping. Just don't mind. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> okay. As I was saying, previous chapter, highly like cool combat oriented, and also I guess whatever is current situation with Wise. Um, this chapter, I'm much need to talk. 
we got so much information that at this point i guess it is a little like overwhelming um especially for team ranger at this point i don't know they basically got a whole like a one year worth of all the information or more from crow so and also the semblance um explains a couple of things from the previous chapter while they were um, while he was fighting with Tyrion um all that like fighting him alone punching him in the face um jumping on the rooftops and i guess uh, breaking a log that everything kind of goes into the misfortune around him kind of thing also the the log that almost got to ruby um and i guess him being hit by that sting um yeah uh that's uh he will need medical help and they are like in the middle of nowhere so we have a great problem at our hands um meanwhile reconnecting um blake and i guess her father um spy spying son and whoever else was from the white fang in the palm trees um uh, i don't know um yep uh we will uh, continue into the next one and um i guess we'll need to take care of crow and they need to caught they need to catch the spy um and yeah wise needs to train yank we didn't see yank like for i don't know how many chapters now so uh, probably it's time to see the last time she put an arm on so she also needs training right with ty so yeah oscar and ospin i mean he will need to i guess i mean uh we now know that kind of like i mean maidens are also the similar situation like oscar and ospin are um getting i guess one soul or two souls into one body um and also the story of two brothers I mean i can get behind that story that was actually really nicely explained um nice graphics as well of how humanity came to be and how we have i guess a choice be good or bad um that was cool and also how the grim and everything that was cool like the exposition or i guess uh, exchanging the information in this particular chapter was amazing so yeah, uh, we will see what is gonna happen in the next one. Until then, thank you for checking this one out. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below with your thoughts on it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Click that bell for notifications to be informed of my next reactions, gameplays, reviews and other things you guys put in the comment below for me to check out. And yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye! And now a special thank you to Kevin Wallace, Chibi Bro, Ultimate Troll and Reds Racer for additional support on my Patreon.